Hello, beautiful people. Today, I've just been thinking about eyelashes, like big, voluptuous, beautiful, natural eyelashes, you know? I've been seeing eyelashes just looking like huge 20 pound butterfly wings. And I'm like, how do you open your eyes? How do you not feel like you just don't constantly have like something falling from the sky onto your eyes? <laughs> The sky is falling onto your eyes and your eyelashes. You guys know what I'm talking about? Do you ever think about this? Do you ever think about 10 years from now when we look back and we think, like, what were we thinking? Like, fake eyelashes? What? This is crazy. I have my own eyelashes. I was born with eyelashes. Why do I need fake eyelashes? Now, I have a hey, disclaimer. I have worn them before every once in a while but they're on a whole new level and I think it's gone a little too far possibly it's just it's a lot now and even the level that it's gotten to is making me question even just the like natural-ish looking eyelashes because let's think about this for a second I'm questioning myself in my decisions right because we all should and I'm not judging anybody. If you want to wear those big voluptuous eyelashes, more power to you. I don't know how you're doing it. Maybe it's like, you're, can you imagine? Wouldn't that be wild if the people that wore these big heavy eyelashes are going to have like, like super snatched face or something because they're like working out their eyelids. It's like their eyelids are lifting weights every day and they're just going to have some type of like eye muscle that's going to make them look like... 20 years younger when they're like all 80 years old wouldn't that be wild okay so that's you know glass half full looking at that perspective but I'm just thinking about like we're putting glue I have personally done this we're putting glue on our eyelids our lids to our eyes we're putting glue on them you know that stuff that like on the back of the package that you know your kids you know adhere things to paper with and it says like do not eat well we're putting that on our eyes like on top of our eyeballs on our eyelids which is just that thought alone just let that marinate and then it's even gone a step further where some people are putting magnetic juice magnetic juice magnetic goop I don't know what it is magnetic juice yeah hashtag magnetic juice putting magnetic goop on their eyelids to to get the eyelashes to stick to them you gotta do this um okay that's wild you're putting something that you like put on your refrigerator <laughs> on your eyelids like something that you use to pick up screws and miscellaneous metals with you're putting that on your eyelids that's crazy like that is crazy that makes me rethink my decisions of putting... I've put glue on my eyelids before. I can't say it felt natural. I can't say it felt right at the time. But, you know, I'm open to trying just about anything in life. And sometimes that goes good and sometimes it goes bad. Sometimes eyelashes look good. And sometimes your eyelash gets stuck to, like, up here and you look crazy. Or sometimes your eye gets, like, adhered shut. And, yeah, no bueno. But we've just gotten to a whole nother level this is like back in the 80s when everybody was teasing their hair and we started telling ourselves this lie of the higher the hair the closer to God well you know what you stop lying to yourself God doesn't care about your hair he doesn't care about your eyelashes you're just putting yourself through some misery with all that teasing and now you're putting yourself through all that misery with those heavy eyelashes like, do you feel like the weight of the world is getting heavy? Is it because of your eyelashes? Do you feel like 2020 was a year of just burning everything to the ground? Was it so you could rebuild without fake eyelashes and with your natural eyelashes? These are just all considerations of 2021. I feel I'm questioning things myself and I just wanted to take you guys on this, you know, mental... A journey of mine this little mental exercise anybody else feel this way about these eyelashes like they don't look natural you're not fooling anyone it's like 
It's like the fake titties where they got to the point where they were just like big, giant, like balls that looked like they were just placed on women's chests. And you're like, okay, we went past the point of like natural and just looking enhanced to just like, bam, fake. And I know some people are into that look, right? Right, right, right. It's not really my aesthetic, but are we going to get to a point? I just wonder, 10, 20 years from now, when you're looking at those old pictures of you and you're looking through them, your kids are looking through them, your grandkids are looking through them, your great grandkids, generations to come, are we going to be looking at these eyelashes and being like, what was this? Who came up with this? How did this become a thing? I don't know. I think we might. I think we might. I'm questioning it in the now, in 2021, so I can't even imagine 10 years from now. But I just wonder what we're going to think because they are getting just big. They're getting large and in charge <laughs> none of them look real they look like they're gonna fall into my IHOP pancakes at breakfast sometimes it scares me I don't know if you need a hairnet on your eyelashes now because they're big <laughs> they're big they're large and in charge but it's it's getting to a point of I'm concerned about my IHOP pancakes so that's when I have to make a video about it really see if anybody else feels the same so let me know what you guys think about these big large and in charge eyelashes that are going on if anybody's ever had them fall into their food and what that turns into in life <laughs> maybe they're just the butterfly wings that are going to transform into something else they're just in their crystalless phase i don't know <laughs> But I'm just starting to question things. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Love you. Bye.